Hello, my name is Finn with Anaya's in I love copying Moon Kitty. She has made videos in the past where she assigned warrior cats random absurd things like cereal, soda, Pokemon and more. I wanted to give my hand at something like this, so here is. Warrior cats as DML dragons. What is DML? Dragon Mania Legends is like Dragon City, except it's better because it doesn't have a dream dragon in it haha. Ha. It's a great game, I have been playing for 7 years. Not sponsored but I could be. Before I start I want to make some things clear. I am using a text to voice generator because I am, to an extent, mute. I will try to make subtitles so it is easier to understand me. Thanks for being patient. Secondly, most dragons are based off of appearance or vibe. I don't care how boring this is, this is my opinion. Third, I made a rule that I can't search for dragons, I must either own the dragon or know it already somehow. This rule has a few exceptions it'll get into later. Fourth, dragon typing does not automatically mean two cats are related, or that they belong to a clan. Firestar and Bluestar are not Grey Stripes parents, and Wind Dragons are not all Wind Clan. This rule also has a few exceptions. Bear with me. I also did not use some cats because I either did not want to, or could not think of a dragon for them. Brightheart and Swiftpaw are not here I'm sorry my children. First is Firestar. I gave him the Fire Dragon because not only does it match his name and appearance, but it's also the most basic of dragons. Literally the first one you get when you start the game. Next is Grey Stripe. I gave him the Smoke Dragon because it is also a bland and common dragon. Also, it's grey. Winged dragons are supposed to be playful also, so it fits his character I think. I love Grey Stripe. Grey Stripe my beloved. Raven Paw is the Crusader Dragon. I wanted to give him an upright dragon because they are shy and timid, and Raven Paw is, well, Raven Paw. I also wanted him to be dark colored and this is the only dragon I could find that fits this description. Not entirely pleased because this dragon kind of looks angry, and Raven Paw is not an angry cat, but whatever. It works for now. Also he doesn't really fit the whole common character with common dragon thing like his friends do but again, whatever. Sandstorm is a dust dragon. They match in color and sort of appearance, and the dust dragon looks kinda sandy. Also, once again using the common cat common dragon, the dust dragon is like the fifth dragon you get in this game. Quick rant about the dust dragon actually. This thing is literally unkillable if you skyrocket the level, max out abilities, 4 star enchant it, and give it wonder and witchcraft sigils. Basically it will more than half the damage your dragons take, and then half the amount of damage your opponent does. Paired with a high level attacking dragon you literally cannot lose. Only problem is it can only use common sigils. Moving on, Blue Star is a wind dragon. Not only are they both blue but the face also has this elegant feel to it, it kind of matches the vibe Blue Star gives me. Once again this is opinion I haven't read a book with Blue Star in it since 8th grade. Bramble Claw is a Minotaur Dragon. It'll get into why I made him and his family the way I did once I get to Tiger Star, but for now I went for kind of a mean looking dragon, that is actually very kind. Once again upright dragons are kind of shy. Hawk Frost is a Prairie Dragon. You can see the similarities to his brother, but I made him this dragon to kind of look like a meaner version of Bramble Claw if you get what I mean. Squirrel Fight is a Phoenix Dragon. I thought I owned this dragon actually but it turns out I did not. I gave her this one because it's both orange and fire type, like her dad. Also kinda cute like her. Leafpool is a water lily dragon. Not only are they both very pretty but the water lily dragon can both poison and heal, which is kind of what a medicine cat is like. Also it's sort of leafy, matches the name. Also also legendary because I like Leafpool. Feathertail is a mask dragon. Struggled with this because I wanted a grey dragon that was kinda of feathery and that was hard to find, so I just settled with this one because the head has feathers I guess. Donnie Pelt is an armor dragon. 
She has dealt with so much in her life that I think she deserves a strong looking dragon. Other than that they don't share much similarities but whatever. Scourge is a shadow dragon. Supposed to be scary or intimidating but is actually very cute looking. Also dark in color, like Scourge. Ashfur is a, you guessed it, ash dragon. Name and appearance aside, this dragon is kinda short and dumb looking, and I always pictured Ashfur as this awkward little guy who browses 4chan or some cat equivalent. Crow Feather is a golden crow dragon. Literally only picked this one because it has the word crow in it, they don't look similar. However fin dragons have this vibe that sort of matches crow feather, can't think of the word for it but trust me. Mothwing is a black armor dragon. Like her sister, she has gone through a lot and is very tough because of it. There is no real reason I gave Mothwing the black armor and not normal armor I just wrote down what I saw first. Cinder Pelt is an agave dragon. I don't remember why I gave her this one, she is not shy nor timid I guess. But whatever we'll just roll with it. Tiger Heart is a cave dragon. Once again, I forget why I gave him this one. Maybe it was because of color. Though I pictured Tiger Heart as a darker color, and also this dragon is borderline purple. J Feather is a leopard dragon. Yes I know it is spotted and J Feather is striped but look. They're both similarly colored, alright? And I think J Feather looks cool as a leopard dragon. Tiger Star is a metal dragon. Now I can finally talk about my dragon choices for everyone. I'm tired of the idea that only Tiger Star's sons look like him, so I made his daughters look more like him than his sons. Also Tiger Claw is sharp and so is metal. Holly Leaf is a cherry dragon. This one breaks the no searching rule but only because I literally could not find it. I thought it was a holly dragon but I was wrong and I spent like 20 minutes looking for this dragon it's insane. I think the colors fit her well, and the little horns reminds me of the holly fawn map that's coming soon. Unrelated side note, the actual holly dragon is kind of ugly. Lion Blaze is a lynx dragon. Once again, spotted and not striped, but come on. Teresa Main, and it looks like a cat, and even the colors are sorta accurate. I think it looks cute and matches him very well. Cinderheart is a plant dragon. I think she's a little more timid than Cinderpelt so the upright dragon works I suppose? She's also somewhat related to medicine cats because she's a reincarnate of one so the plant part works. Poppy Frost is a begonia dragon. They are both very kind, squishy looking animals and also the begonia dragon gives off a very playful vibe that matches Poppy Frost as far as I remember. Very cute also. Sol is a clownfish dragon. Everyone point and laugh at the clown cat. But seriously, the colors match well enough and I couldn't find any other lion-shaped dragons so I just settled with the fish. Also it kinda looks goofy and Sol is a goofy guy. Dove Wing is a snow pelt dragon. I wanted a short, cute and fluffy dragon for her and this one works very well despite the color. Also this dragon is very pitiful in my eyes and Dove Wing kind of is too. Ivy Pool is a fox glove dragon. They share literally zero traits but Ivy Pool is a very lanky cat, and Anserine dragons are the lankiest you can get really, so I just settled with this one. Also this dragon is cute and I wanted to use it at least once. Hairstar is a flutter by dragon. They don't share appearance but I wanted a dragon that is kind of a pushover, and Ursine dragons are quite literally just like that. Briarlight is a solar dragon. I wanted a dragon without legs because there is no dragons with hind legs that don't work, and I didn't want to give her working hind legs, you know? Also this dragon is bright and so is she. Bumble's tripe is a bee dragon. Yeah yeah, I chose a bee for obvious reasons, but also because the bee dragon is kinda small and dumb and I think has like that too. All serene dragons are small and dumb lol. Blossom Fall is a Blossom Dragon. You can literally just guess why I chose this one, I don't know much about her. Longtail is a Radiant Dragon. In order to give him a longer than usual tail, I had to give him no legs, so I just went with this one. 
The color doesn't match that well but I've stopped caring at this point. Red tail is a ruby dragon. Not just because of the literal red tail, but because it's short and so is red tail, I assume. I know I said Soreens look dumb but I actually like the ruby dragon. Breeza Pelt is a patriot dragon. I wanted a wind type Ansarine dragon, and I almost picked obsidian, but am saving that one for later. White Storm is a snow dragon. You can see what I was going for. Also the Leonine build kinda matches what I think of him, a strong white cat. Brindleface is a Windrock dragon. That's literally the name of it. Anyways I picked this one only because of the pattern, it looks brindle I guess. Maple Shade is a prickly dragon. I wanted to make her a nightshade but am saving that one for later. My second choice is also a toxic dragon. Alderheart is a lava dragon. Once again, small and dumb, and also red. Needletail is an emperor dragon. Not only is this dragon badass, but it's also so fucking powerful you have no idea. My second choice was any sort of metal dragon because of the final vengeance ability, it made me think of her. Violet Shine is an obsidian dragon. I don't have any white and black spotted dragons sadly, but my obsidian and emperor dragons never leave each other's side, so I thought it was a sweet parallel to Violet Shine and Needle Tail. Tree is a tree dragon lol. Twig Branch is a leaf dragon. Truth be told I just now realized she is supposed to be a plant dragon, I got her and Cinderheart mixed up whoops. Anyways tree related name yeah yeah whatever moving on. Dark Tail is a shard dragon. Dark, kinda scary, and blue eyes. Also sharp. Sleek Whisker is a fireball dragon. I wanted something sort of cool but also answerine. Also I guess the colors are sort of there? Though I think Sleek Whisker is a bit lighter. Also also, both her and Needle Tail are answerine. Coincident? Yeah actually. Root Spring is a meteor dragon. Once again just a short and dumb dragon who is also yellow. Bristle Frost is a cheerleader dragon. She's literally the cheerleader character in a movie who has a crush on a football guy. Shadowsight is a stardust dragon. I wanted to make him obsidian but I already used that, so here's the next best thing. Pretty sparkly dragon. Barry Nose is an earth dragon. Just a generic guy with four legs. Unfortunately I couldn't find a dragon that had no tail. Snow Tuft is a light dragon. I don't even remember putting him on this list, so do with this information as you will. Mist High Star is a mercury dragon. A blue water dragon is good for a blue water cat. And last but not least, Spotted Leaf, who is a nightshade dragon. I think I read something about Maple Shade being jealous of Spotted Leaf. And I almost made Maple Shade the Nightshade Dragon, so? I went with this. That's all folks, stay tuned for more funny cat-